Hello everyone, I'm Willie Awesome with the Dead by Daylight League, and welcome to this amazing match of Wings vs. Felony. This week we've got the Wretched Shop, and already we're going to be getting into a chase. That is going to be Nashdix playing Executioner for Felony. And Zerat is going to be taking the very first hit here. Zerat already tormented. It seems that there is a sloppy butcher. Zerat spots a hex totem over at this TNL wall. Now this is Wing's very first appearance. Zerat using a lithe to get away. Uh, this is Wing's very first appearance in the league. So we will have to see how they do. How it drops and Zerat does go down. BG working on a generator. Pokey also on a generator. And Deffy just running around. BG taking the hit. They are body blocking like crazy. And Zerat gets off his shoulder. However, Knowing that Nashix does have Sloppy Butcher, was it really worth it? A generator does get done. So perhaps it was. Deffy getting healed. Nashik's just walking around trying to find people. And he spots two. This is going to be Zaren getting chased. Rights of Judgment being used. Just going to go for the M1 there. Zaren doesn't make it through the window. Very nice prediction from Nashik's. Pickup is coming through, and I don't think Zaren's going to get off his shoulder this time. And that is another point for Felony. BG get un got unhooked and healed in that time, though. Spots out Deffy. One of the totems does get broken, and that is Hex Haunted Grounds being used. Does Deffy make it to this pallet? It seems like it. But Torment is going to swing coming through. He does miss. Pallet does get dropped. Deffy, not in a good spot here. There are no windows here. There's no pallets here. But he manages to get out anyway. Nashtix misses the punishment. Decides to break chase. Zaren gets healed. BG trying not to get caught. And Nashtix spots out Zaren again. And he is going to be taking the hit from the punishment. Zaren just on the run. Going back to this TNL wall here. And he is going down. He was full exhaustion. There was no lives to save him. And he is going back on the hook. Nashtick spots two. He's just going to be putting the rights down. And that is BG getting tormented. 
So Executioner is a relatively new killer, and it's very nice to see him at a very high level of play. I personally couldn't use him to save my life. But Torment, I, we've seen it a little bit uh, when he just came out from like content creators, but they're using the Torment, the generator does get done, they're using the Torment more so for the Mori at the end of the game than anything else. And that is borrowed time coming into effect. And that is Pokey taking the hit. Nashtix chasing down BG. Gonna send him to the cage so that way he can just keep on chasing Zarent. Zarent just on the run, trying not to get caught. BG does get pulled out of the cage by Deffy, and they both are no longer tormented. BG, however, getting chased, dead hard used, baits out the punishment. Still getting chased, though. Gets the stun off. And this is Pokey running in to take his attention. Pokey going down. Now this was a nice body block here, because even though Pokey did go down, BG was dead on hook. But that is still another point for Felony. BG getting spotted out. And that is going to be a very quick down for Nashtix. Tries to spin him around the barrel, doesn't quite work. Another generator does get done. But BG is now dead. Pokey does get unhooked. Zarent just standing idly by. Gonna work on this generator here. Another generator does get done by Pokey. And Deffy is getting a generator of his own. Spots out Zarent. Stun does go off. But he's still gonna loop this pallet here. He isn't in a good position to do so though. He's going to run to this window vault here. Baits out the punishment. But he can't use his lithe. Does manage to get it off though in the end. And that is going to buy him just a little bit more distance. He's going to come over to this pal here. Does go down in the end. And that is going to be a final judgment. Pokey working on this generator here. Deffy, trying not to get caught. But Nashtix is hot on his trail. That last generator does get done, and Adrenaline does heal them both up. That is going to be Deffy getting hit by the punishment. Pokey tormented now. Going to be trying to loop here. He is ex already preemptively drops the pallet. Going to force Nashtix to break it. Deffing doing his absolute best. There is no dead heart here, and he is going to go down. And it does seem like Pokey is ready to escape. Deffy 
going on the hook. Is Pokey going to go for the save? Doors open and Demon Collapse has been started and it doesn't seem like it. No. Pokey's still in the map. Nasix just going back to the hook. It is just going to be a light face camp trying to secure the kill. Pokey does seem like he's going to try and bait out the chase here. I don't know what his plan is. Live being used. Does get the Kobe with deliverance. Dead hard used, but he does go down. Unfortunately. It was a nice attempt. But it doesn't seem like it's going to get much out of it. Circle of the rights of judgment drawn around the down survivor. Pokey isn't coming for this save. There's no way he can. Yeah, Pokey's just sitting in the exit. Deffy is fully recovered. And Pokey leaves. And that is Deffy in the cage. And that is a successful 3k from Nashdex. With a final score for the game of 7 points to Wings and 11 points to Felony. We'll be right back after this short break. Hello and welcome back to this amazing match of Wings versus Felony. I'm Willie Austin with the Dead by Daylight League. And here we have Felony playing Survivor and Zarent playing Executioner for Wings. Immediately find someone. And that is going to be... I have no idea. And that is going to be Baby Mango getting chased. Going to be taking a quick hit there. Going to run over to the pallet. Preemptively drops the pallet. Right at the max range of the punishment. Baby Mango does go down. And that is going to be Baby Mango going on the hook very quickly. Saren just going to be walking around with those rights of judgment. Baby Mango does get saved. And that is going to be Dr. Rock getting caught out. Tries to go for the stun, but barely doesn't make it in time. Zarent barely misses the punishment. God Palette getting dropped. And that is Hex Ruin down. And Ivan getting chased now, taking the M1. Getting that extra speed boost from Lithe. Gonna be rushing to Killer Shack. Ivan does go down. God Palette is now gone. And Ivan is going on the hook. What a great start for Wings. Baby Mango almost done with this generator though, as Ivan gets hooked across the map. And that is going to be another point for Felony. Now Executioner was Wings' pick here. Rock going down. And it seems for good reason. Zarent really seems to know this killer. Which is a 
a lot better than mine. Ivan gets unhooked in the meantime. It seems Zeret knows this killer very well for the short amount of time that he's been released. Rock does get unhooked, sees scratch marks, and that is Baby Mango getting spotted. Goes for the blind punishment, doesn't quite make it. And that is Baby Mango trying to juke it out. Baby Mango is going to get hit though. Zerant doesn't quite get the punishment off. Gonna go for another one. And misses a third time. Ivan working on a generator with Rock. It seems they are gonna be running though. Nashtix gonna heal up Baby Mango. And Zerant is in a chase. It's gonna be Ivan getting chased here. Zeret must have missed him. Uh, no, he's just deciding not to chase here. Baby Mango does get healed. More scratch marks. He knows someone else is here. Dr. Rock does get spotted. Punishment, unfortunately, does not go up that ramp. Similar to uh, Doctor's shock therapy attack. You have to be on the same level for it to be used. Or for it to hit. Sorry. Gonna be going for the swing through the truck. And that is another generator done by Felony. Make that two generators. Gets the M1 off, but does have to eat the pallet in response. And that is gonna be Zeret getting the down with the punishment. And that is going to be a cage for Rock. Ivan working on a generator right by where Rock is. It is going to be a very quick save out of the cage. Nashix almost done with yet another generator. Ivan getting chased. Gonna go through the window, live, activating, getting him that distance. And this is Nashix getting chased now. It does seem like he's Zerat is gonna be going for the M1, does get the hit. Nashtix just on the run going to this TNL wall here gonna be juking out the punishment he's gonna be getting tormented though dead hearts the M1 but does go down at the window no fast vault for you but the last generator does get done he isn't going to get healed with adrenaline, and he is going to end up in the cage. Ivan opening the door with Wake Up. Things aren't looking too good here at the end for Zara and Wings. Door does get open. Zaren going after the scratch marks. Nash sticks getting chased here. He's just trying to zone him away from the doors. And that's three out. Hatch is right Hatch is right behind Zaren. He just needs to close the hatch. Manages to keep him off the hatch though. Keeps going for these punishments though, and not quite getting anything from it. And Nashtix does go down. Yeah. 
And we are going to be ending the round here with the final score of Wings with 14 and Felony with 22. A very good showing of Executioner from both teams. And that is going to be the end of round one. We'll see you. We'll see you with some nurse games just around the corner. Hello and welcome to this. Um, welcome to round two of Wings vs. Felony. I'm Willie Awesome with the Dead by Daylight League. And we've got Dabs on the Nurse. Now, if you guys tuned in on Monday, you guys know I'm a big fan of Dabs' as Nurse. Um, corrupt intervention being used to buy some time. It was not banned this round. Yeah, I got a completely different set of bans this round. Sprint Burst not banned, so it can be used. And Zarent is going to be taking the first hit. And he is going to be going down. Very quick first down. Basement is here in the Wretched Shop. And that is going to be a very quick hook and a decent amount of early game pressure, which a lot of killers lack. Dab's just blinking around trying to find people. Spots of generator almost done. Sees the scratch marks and breaks the generator. And that is gonna be BG getting chased. Or sorry, Deffy. I'm <laughs> Zaren gets saved. Deadheart comes through. Can extend Deffy's life just a little bit. Deffy. Gonna be taking the drop from the hill. Zaren is health carrying Pokey. They heal BG on a generator, and Deffy goes down. Generator does get completed, and Deffy is going to be going on the hook. Dab's just going to be blinking around trying to find people. Deffy does get saved. Spots out Zaret. Dabs, gonna get the hit off. Things aren't looking too good for wings. Zaret is gonna be back on the ground. Deffy does get healed. And that's this generator almost done. Dab's just going to wait it out. Does use Pop Goes the Weasel to get some regression off. Pokey getting spotted. Dab's doesn't quite make it through the rock there. He's going to decide to not chase. Zaret's fully recovered. But he is going to get picked up. And that is going to be second hook for Zaret. Pokey working on a generator in the main building. BG almost went to gen. And Deffy halfway done. Dabs spots out BG. Zarent getting saved. Dabs gonna go back to the hook. Spots Zarent. Does overcorrect a bit. 
And he isn't going to get the down right yet. Zarent using live is going to go down at the Z-Wall. And that is going to be a very early first kill. It's going to give Dabs a lot of pressure and it's going to make the rest of this game easier for Dabs. And that is another generator getting completed by Wings. However, one dead at three gens is only slightly better than one dead at four. Using Popco's wheel to regress that generator back by the hook. Gonna just break that one regularly. Pokey, working on the generator in the main building. BG. Almost done with that generator, but he is gonna get forced off of it. And he is gonna get chased. Dabs missing the lunge. BG tries to drop the pallet, stop him. Doesn't quite work out in his favor, though. Dabs lost him for a second, but immediately finds him again. And this should be BG going on the ground. Dead hard coming through, though. And that is only going to extend his life for so long. Dabs tries to protect the window vault, but instead gets doubled back on, and that is going to be BG getting away. Deffy getting chased now. Generator does get completed by Pokey. And that is Deffy taking the hit. And Deffy going down. Dead hard not used. Generator does get finished though. And what was a bad start for Wings is suddenly looking a whole lot better. Dabs can be bleaking her over. Gonna be trying to find anyone, really. Gonna be checking these generators, making sure they're not getting worked on. BG does get healed. Does find Pokey. And Pokey, going down, tries to do a 180, doesn't quite work, and Dabs is blinking back to the hook, going after BG. That generator is so close to being finished. However, Pop is going to be used on it. Pokey is still on the ground, he does get picked up. And Deffy getting chased. Pokey back on the ground. Decides he just wants to hook Pokey and not try and get another hook stage onto Deffy. Although he does know that Deffy does have dead hard. And that could have allowed both of them to get away. Pokey on the hook. And that generator is so close to getting done. But Dabs is doing a really good job of keeping it regressed. Pokey immediately saved. Borrow time gonna be used. Barely misses the lunge. And Pokey back on the ground. Both BG and Deffy on that generator. Finally getting done. Deffy getting healed with adrenaline. And Pokey is on the hook yet again. However, there is a major point deficit between the two teams. 11 points. However, it could very easily be made a lot closer if all three of these survivors can escape. Pokey still on the hook. Door did get opened. Hope is active for BG, so running away from the nurse is going to be a little bit easier. Hex no, it comes into effect. Deffy on the ground. 
And BG knows that Dabs is coming back to that hook. Unbreakable was banned, so no one's picking him themselves off the ground. Dabs knows where Hatch is, standing over by Pokey, making sure the kill does come through. Things were looking up for Wings, but then Noah just had to come through and stop it. BG is just going to leave. Pokey's dead. And Deffy is going to be dead as well. And that is going to be the end of game three. Will Wings be able to bring it back? Will Zarent or whoever's playing killer uh, for Wings be able to out nurse Dabs' nurse? We will find out after this short break. All right, we are finally back. For real this time, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Pokey playing Nurse this time. So a lot of people are saying um, it was just Blink Bug. Wait, five seconds. Um, as someone pointed out in chat, five seconds is a lot when it's comp. Like, five seconds is a lot. And also, he just straight up disconnected. Like, he he's not in the Discord anymore. He's just gone. So... Something happened. And we already have a chase here. I've been going for the pallet stun, but not quite getting it. Um, I don't know what this recharge meter is doing in the bottom left. And Ivan is going down this, this game. I love it, but it seems pretty buggy at times. And that is Dabs getting hit. Nashik's working on a generator. Ivan just sitting on the ground recovering. Dabs getting chased. Baby Mango also on a generator. Dead hard being used by Dabs. Running over to this generator that's so very nearly completed. Maybe not the best move. Pokey still on dabs. Ivan gets picked up off the ground. And dabs does go down on the ground. Generator does get completed. This is Ivan going back on the ground. Dabs does get saved in the meantime. Nashix just working on generator. Ivan getting picked off off the ground. Dabs starting his own generator. Baby Mango just crouching around, trying not to get caught. And that is another point for Wings. Pokey just going to blink straight into the ground. He wants to break this generator. Ivan does get saved. And then it's going to be Pop Goes the Weasel coming into effect, regressing that generator. Nash sticks on the run. Ivan getting healed. And Dab still on that generator. Nash sticks getting chased right now. In the killer shack. Nashtix is going to be running over to this TNL wall. Nashtix does get hit. Barely misses the lunge there. And Nashtix is out of the window. Going over to this jungle gym. Pokey blinks a little too far. Misses the lunge. And another generator does get completed by Felony.
I've been working on generator. Dabs. Just running around. And Nastix still getting chased. And Nastix finally going down. This and this generator is so close to completion. Ivan getting spotted. Pokey goes for the hit, but just whiffs. I believe that was a sprint burst used by Ivan. Thrilling tremors being used. Ivan can't work on that generator, but another generator does get finished. And Nastix is on the hook. Ivan gets spotted out, does take the hit. And a very quick down. Not a very long chase, unlike Nashtix. Pokey is going to be kicking this generator with Popcorn Weasel. Another generator gets done. Nashtix unhooks himself with Deliverance. And Ivan is just going to get hooked. Another point for Wings. And things aren't looking too good for Pokey and the rest of Wings. Um, Nashtix is broken, but it doesn't seem like he'll be able to make much of it. And there's only one generator left, which I believe Baby Mag was working on. Yeah, it's, it's the generator right by where Ivan got hooked. And they're going to finish this, then go for the save. But not if Pokey has anything to say about it. Baby Mango, body blocks, finishes the gen. Gets healed up immediately by the adrenaline. Dabs also healed. But Dabs goes down. No Ed coming into effect. And could Pokey make the turnaround he needs for this team to win? Ivan has historically been uh, Felony's gate opener. Nastix leaves. Ivan is dead. Baby Mango also leaves. And that is the match. And that is going to be a final score of Wings with 25 and Felony. With 37, Felony is going to be the ones winning this match, taking home that W. Um, I do have some important announcements, however. So I'm just going to leave uh, the score up on the screen. Um, so tomorrow is the Dead by Esports tournament, and a lot of the teams from the Dead by Daylight League are participating in it. As such, there aren't any matches from the Dead by Daylight League happening tomorrow. Instead, we are going to be hosting uh, the Dead by Esports tournament. You guys can still watch your favorite teams play. You can watch more teams play. Um, there are also no matches Sunday. Um, matches instead are Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Let me just pull up those times here real quick. We have Kamikaze versus Outcasts at on Tuesday at 4 p.m. GMT, Oracle versus Blackout Wednesday at 7 or sorry 5 p.m. GMT, and Sinister versus Agony on Thursday at 5 p.m. GMT. Make sure you get those. Make sure you watch those live. They're going to be good games. Anyways, I've been Willie Awesome with the Dead by Daylight League, and that's all.